Oh, man. Crab Nebula is looking pretty funky today, man. I got the, uh, got the party colors on. But then again, every night is Saturday night in the Crab Nebula. We're back with the crow, and she's on her quest for vengeance against those who took her child, killed her husband, and, of course, killed her. So let's see what she's wearing for the day. For Tales of Belt, number two, VTOL Wardrobe 7 Pants, Wardrobe 8 Boots, Wardrobe 8 Long Coat, love that thing, Wardrobe 9 Motoko Kusanagi Gloves, Wardrobe 9 The Top, 4, version 3. She's wearing her wedding ring, of course, and she has a wedding ring of her husband, because love never ends. So please like and subscribe to the channel so we can keep this thing going and growing look at that this thing messed up my hair when i put it on there it usually looks unkept and disheveled anyway you know why break tradition all right let's get to it let's get to it man got vengeance man yeah you better open that door mmm she's got some smackdown delay Hanging out, laying the smack down. Oh, oh, I always fall for that too. It's all right, it's okay, man. Now I understand you are hiding because you fear death. <laughs> She's already there, man. Mm, she'll still get that dirty water, though. Dirty water is like a bar of gold in the wasteland. That's it. Can't pass up on that. Dirty. <laughs> I am no longer detecting an enemy presence. Ooh, I like that red look. You can see the red. Feel the vengeance. <laughs> oh, jeez. He couldn't detect her presence, but she can detect the vengeance. Yeah, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. She laughs and scoffs at your trap. Come on now. Got it. She could use that to do uh, one of these pulse grenades. Apple cobbler. It's all about that cobbler. Mm -hmm. Like blackberry cobbler, though. That's... Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years. I don't need a roommate. Leave. Blackberry cobbler, man. It's good stuff. Baby, never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50 50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the common law would chew you up like jerky. She's making a statement. She looks good in that pale light. <laughs> I'd say she's a little upset. Just a touch. A smidgen. 
a smidgen. She wants vengeance, man. She wants blood. She doesn't. All right, never mind. Is someone present? This for that, she's gonna yank the battery too. Look at all that acid. Acid and oil. Makes for an infallible combination. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sweet. Mm hmm. It's basically, uh, oh, yeah. A few items in here, you know. Those guys are going to appear. Okay, let's do that. Hello. Hello. Attacking enemy. Ice cold, quantum. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. And she's supposed to take your word for that, right? I mean, come on, my man. You don't. Mm -mm. You're not too high on the credibility scale here. She's choosing to ignore you, man. That's that's what I'm thinking. For her vengeance must be satisfied. Yeah, and after that, uh. Cobbler crack, yeah. We, mm -mm. No, you ain't living now. Before things were negotiable, but now, no. no. Mm -mm. Nope. Yes. What was that line from Van Damme in uh, Street Fighter? I am the Repo Man, and your ass is six months overdue. <laughs> yeah, that's the mentality to have. That's it. Six months, baby. Well, in this nice. case was it sixty years, something like that. Bald and scarred man.
came from. Oh, I got turned around. Okay. Oh, yeah, that. Excellent. She would take that clock, too. Just hmm. shows she doesn't sleep late and miss vengeance. Where's, uh, there we go. There we go. Six months over. Got it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know, I made the, uh, the mistake. Well, how was I supposed to know back then? But, uh, watching that movie on uh, opening day. Oh, oh, oh. They're in the theater too, man. I was like, oh. Every minute that movie just slogged on. I was like, oh, my hope for the thing just went to. Mm. Fortunately, Mortal Kombat movie, and I mean the original Mortal Kombat movie, made up for that considerably. Mortal Kombat. A fight between Johnny Cage and Scorpion? Yes. 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 Sweet. Ceramic pot, too. My sins are standing down. Are you gonna save you? Let's talk. <laughs> you want to talk? Oh, she wants vengeance. And there she is. The most resilient woman in the company. Because she's undead. You murdered my husband took my baby. Mm. You're a dead man. Your husband. That was a regrettable accident. Still, mm. this world, this life, you've seen it. Pain, suffering. Death is its only escape. He's rationalizing. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Sean's fine. Maybe a little older than you expected, huh? Yeah. I can't give him to you. Because he ain't here. Fuck you, Kellogg. Let him go. Your time's done. Your son is exactly where he belongs. He's home. In the Institute. No! Here, the Institute, I'll find my son no matter where he is. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of like him. He's lonely. You might have actually been a good mother. And I admire your dedication. Even if it is ultimately useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Oh, that was some cold stuff, man. That was cold. <laughs> ah, a little off the top. That was a good shot. Now the crow must search her feelings. <laughs> all this tech. Man, look at all that good stuff. Oh, barely human. She's taking it all. Take it all! Well, except for that, she doesn't use clothes. But it's a trophy. Take it all! There we go. Barely even human. Should put the um, handlebars on his head. Then he'd be a Cyberman. Yes, Cyberman. It's my favorite Doctor Who villains, man. Excellent. Well, it's too bad Doctor Who turned into absolute garbage, man. I love classic Who, though, man. I'll watch me some classic Who, though. 
Anytime, anywhere. But this modern Doctor Who? Oh, good lord. Oh. It's like the rest of these shows, movies, and video games, man. Oh, crash and burn. Lock the doors. Yeah. Open. Yeah, open. Yeah, that's absolutely disgraceful. Go. Got to go. Wait, stuff in here. Lock the door. Yeah, she needs that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. Uh People of the Commonwealth. Don't get in our way. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh -huh. It's always nighttime, isn't it? Open. That music rolling. Open. There we go. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Let's get over here so we can get a good shot of it. Oh. People of the Commonwealth. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. Mm -hmm. Of course they are. We are the Brotherhood <laughs> of Steel. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Just cruising through the sky. Uh -huh. It's impressive, though. Very impressive. First time I saw that when I played this on PS4, man, it blew me away. I was like, ooh. Look at, <laughs> Look at the military presence. Absolutely. Okay, now we have to go back to the... Uh, Well, get down. That's one thing. No, 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 no. No. Just landed on the bushes. All right, now that we've... Ooh, look at that thing. Always oh, impressive. All right, now we have to go back to... Uh, where is he? Yeah, go crazy brain train stuff. Talk to uh, Dr. Amari. But she has to find that out. You see that big blimp? Sure did. Why are they here? You know who they are? Did they go, People of the earth, can you hear me? <laughs> Children of the sun, man. Good song. Basket in that red light looking all creepy and such. That's what we need. We need more of that. Well, it is getting that season, isn't it? Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Be a great quote. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. Oh, snoop your back. Not with your son. There's a reason for that, dude. What happened? I... 
I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them shot. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. <laughs> uh -huh. That makes things... Vengeance. ...considerably more complicated. Kill them. kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. Kills some no synths, synth too. does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind them uh, they're out there. Ah. To this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Oh, snatch away my Where allergies. the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Mm. Exactly. There's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. Who cares if he didn't like it? You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. Dun, dun, dun. The mind behind the memories. I don't know, Nick. That seems a little out there. You're talking to a synth. I am a little out there. Just stay with me on this. Let's see, I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Yeah. Enough gray matter to bring to Omari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, humans. nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. A human play with human parts. Dead human. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy Cr brain train crazy or brain not, train. we can all go running across the Commonwealth. Yeah. Who's coming with you? Nope. I have to go to Nobody. memory den either way. Going alone, I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Ooh, come, come on! It's hey, just a little. Oh. Well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. Ah. Uh. And by the way, at some <clears throat> point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. <coughs> All right, crazy brain train it is. Crazy brain train, Piper. Crazy brain train. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. How would you know? Oh, Piper, get out of here. I'm trying to get a good shot. It does look good. All right, let's get out of here. <coughs> oh, man. Get out of here. And now we have to go to find Dr. Crazy Brain Train herself. Look at these folks. Look at these people. What are they doing? Oh, they're filtering in because it's oh, it's that time. Keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna start thinking you're a sick. Oh shit. Just be quiet. Just, just quit. Just knock it off. Is that a pick boy? Give my left arm for one of those. Oh, you like that? It's 
It's a nice design, but it still looks a bit uh, heavy. All right, we'll call the game from here for now. This is a good stopping point before she has to start running across the wasteland, and I love doing that. So stay cool. Thank you for watching the show. And we'll pick her up later for some more vengeance. Bye. I love that line. Crazy brain train.